What's up, troops? Welcome back. I'm here live. It's not that I'm not a cat. Then we go that way to the lake. In this video, we'll be looking at how to create these pretty sick fadeaway or checks. Here, was that Enya? I fucking hate Enya. How can you be upset with Enya? Really, it's just silence coloured in. It doesn't even work. She says sail away, no fade away, you spanner. Yeah, that's fair enough, actually. Alright, what about this? Not Disney work either, ya walloper. Look, just leave the jokes to me, pal. You stick to the painting, right? <sighs> right, sure. Anyway, to do this, you're going to want to start off with a black base coat and then grab yourself a blue-grey colour. This here is scale colour graphene grey, because that's how I roll, but you can use any similar colour. Games Workshop Eshin Grey is a pretty good equivalent. Mix a little black into the grey to darken it down slightly. I like to make this a subtle effect, almost like a hidden detail, but if you want a more obvious result, just use a more contrasting colour. Moving on, we'll sketch in a simple checkerboard grid over our black. And you're going to do this by painting a row of vertical lines roughly evenly spaced. Luckily this is a very small surface so we only really need to do a couple to get the whole thing covered. Then once you're finished that you're going to paint on a series of horizontal lines, again making them roughly equal in size. And this leaves you with a grid of small boxes, which you're now going to fill in so that they form a checkerboard pattern. Just filling in the boxes with your grey colour. When you finish that, if you find the edges are a little messy, you can clean them up by painting over any mistakes with some black. So you're really just trying to make things a bit neater. If you'd prefer a messier look, then you can just skip this step. Once you're happy with how it looks, take some of your black and thin it down to a glaze consistency with a bit of water. Now when you're using glazes you don't want to have too much liquid on the bristles and one of the best ways to get rid of the excess is to simply tap the tip of the brush against a paper towel holding it there for a couple seconds. This leaves you with a very small amount of glaze on the bristles but that's what you want. Test it on your thumbnail to make sure it's not leaving any big blobs of watery paint. You want to see a nice thin even coating without any pools forming on the surface. If you still have too much on the brush, just tap it against the paper towel again and then retest it until you're happy. To make the checks fade out, you're going to gently and smoothly draw the side of your brush along and over the checks in whatever direction you want to create the fade. So in my case, I want it to fade out towards the outside edges. And you're going to have to do this over several layers, letting each one dry before applying a new one. If you want, you can speed things up by using a quick blast of a hair dryer between each layer. Just be sure to use it on the model and not your actual hair. After a few applications of the glaze, you'll start to get this really cool effect where the checks appear to be disappearing into the black. It's subtle but highly effective. When you finish that, you can also paint some freehand over the top if you want. So this is just a kill count that I'm adding in with an off-white colour. It just adds an, an extra layer of detail. I think it looks pretty cool. Alright troops, I hope you found this useful. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button so you don't miss an upload. Let me know what you thought in the comments down below and I'll see you all in the next video. Thanks again. Bye for now.